Okay, so let's look at today's problem of the day. Let's read it real quick. In the xy coordinate plane, the graph of the equation y equals 3x squared minus 12x minus 36 has zeros at A and B. The graph has a minimum at this point. What are the values of A, B, and C? So first let's talk about zeros of a function are the same thing as solutions. So let's take our function 3x squared minus 12x minus 36 and let's set it equal to zero and let's find the solutions. Okay. So anytime we're looking at a quadratic equation like this, the first thing we do is we see, is there a number that will go into everything? Well, look, 3 goes into 3, 3 goes into 12, and 3 goes into 36. So what let's do is let's factor 3 out. So I've got 3 times, and when you factor 3 out, you're dividing each term by 3, like this. And so when you factor 3 out, you get x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Okay, so all I've done is I factored 3 out of this, and here's what I got. Now what's left inside the parentheses is a quadratic equation, x squared minus 4x minus 12. If this factors, it will factor into two what? Two binomials. So let's rewrite this, 3 and then let's write two binomials equals zero. And so what times what will give me x squared? x times x. And what times what will give me 12? That also adds up to be four. Well, let's write our factors. One times 12 is 12, but I can't subtract it and get four. Two times six, there we go. 6 minus 2 is 4, so let's go minus 6 plus 2. Now let's check ourselves. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4, and negative 6 times positive 2 is negative 12. So now in order for us to find the zeros or the solutions, we need to take this binomial and set it equal to 0, and we need to take this binomial and set it equal to 0. So let's do that. Let's write x minus 6 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. All I did was take this binomial and set it equal to 0 and this binomial and set it equal to 0. So now let's solve each one. I will add 6 on both sides and I have x equals 6. And I will subtract 2 on both sides. So x equals negative two. So these are my two zeros. Okay, These are my two solutions. This is a solution and this is a solution. Six and negative two. Now right here it says A is less than B. So in this case A is going to be the smaller number which is negative two and B is going to be the bigger number which is six. Okay, So there's A there's B, and the reason A and B are what they are is because it says right here A is less than B. Okay, so let's find the ones that say A is negative 2. This one says A is negative 2, and it's the only one that says A is negative 2. So I can stop working. It's the answer. Okay, but now let's go back and let's look. It says that I have a minimum at this point. Now remember, minimums occur where? They occur at the vertex. So let's calculate the vertex of this. Okay, Remember the vertex is negative b over 2 times a. And so that's 12 over 6, which equals 2. And so in this case, c is going to be 2. Okay, Remember, minimums and maximums happen at the vertex. Say it. Minimums and maximums happen at the vertex.